what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we got a very very interesting video mostly due to the fact that we have transformers the movie hot rod studio series i am very excited about this guy because well as most of you guys might know he is not supposed to release until april so the fact that we got our hands on him this early uh kind of surprising and really cool so first thought i was gonna show you guys so here he is give you guys a quick look at the box it's the front tricks of leadership all that stuff a little art it's the back the depths of unicron hot rod lights the darkest hour hmm i'm not sure seriously ha bruh Anyway, uh, yeah, big screen inspired, scale, detail, backup, don't know how to read the other languages, so Voyager class, Studio Series 86, the top, good old little plastic window with the Transformers the movie, bottom, you guys really like the bottom of the Transformers boxes, barcode for you, if you really, really want that. Now that we've got the box clear out of the way, we can get into uh, opening the big man up himself. So, I don't know if you guys saw that, but the bottom was already open. No damage to the box. So, there you go. Carefully pull them out. Box out of the way. That's what it came in. Transformers the movie. Stay a uh, platform right there. A little background of inside of Unicron. Nothing but a little panel. Nothing but little panels right there. Backs of the box. Click. I don't know what we go. Cool, cool. Yeah, this folds. This unfolds to reveal his platform. So. Now we just simply show you guys this. Don't know why you're looking at the patching, packaging, but there he is. Yeah, it's wonderful packaging. So now, just try and get him out. Very carefully. I do not want to scratch the paint on this, you guys. I really don't. This is like the only one. <laughs> yeah, crazy story on how we found this guy. We found him, or uh, my dad found him, right as the guy was stocking him up at Walmart. Stocking all of them up. We have a, uh, a Transformers the movie Blur and Jazz over there. I know MGO hasn't released a Jazz video, but by the time this is posted, he might. So, I don't know. I'm going to focus on the Matrix leadership some other time. Because it just doesn't want to come out. Kind of like how it didn't want to come out of Optimus. Haha, <laughs> funny jokes. Subscribe for the wonderful joke content we do on this channel. Jeez. They really don't want pet people open up this guy. It's like, gosh, dang. <laughs> I gotta be so precise with the scissor cutting. It's like, I'm scared. There we go. This main strap down. Just gotta slide. Oh my gosh. Alright, his arm. We got it. Any feet straps? Nope. He's ready to pop out. Unless they're Hasbro wrapped around it, wrapped a string around his neck. That's the good cyclone. Whoa! Alright. His little arm gun just fell off. I'm gonna quickly reattach that real quick. It's just, yeah, this thing's just a pop snap, so don't worry. See, he's all better. 
Now that he's out, we're going to give you guys a quick look at him. Arm cannons pop off. Now let's take a look at what's, what else is inside the box. We got him. Pretty obviously. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> they didn't want the guns escaping either. Hasbro. I think if you just fold plastic over them, that makes that makes sure that they don't want to go anywhere either. I don't think you need to wrap them in plastic for the guns. You know, but you know, um Yeah. Let's just get all of his accessories out of here. Saw blade, saw blade, spins. Yeah, it spins both ways. Okay. We're gonna get. Oh, whoa. Hey now. Alrighty. Squeeze. Squeeze this out. I'm correct. I think this is Hot Rod. We got the Matrix of Leadership, but he hadn't become Rodimus Prime yet. This was like the scene in Unicron before he became Rodimus Prime. So. Um, you know. You know. <laughs> might just start a petition for Hasbro to stop wrapping their guns in plastic that you can't even get off that well. Oh my gosh. I just want to show you guys this other gun. That's it. It's not like I'm trying to ask to have in real life. Oh gosh dang. Alright, there's this other one. Pew. Alright, finally. Got that out. Matrix out. Matrix is out. Oh, that's weird. It has a cavity in one side. And just has a cavity in one side. There's that. I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, this does have light piping. That's what the cavity's for. So let's just, you know, hold that up real quick. And let's just target this. Yep. Using the good old laser gun. Let me check your temp before you gotta come over here and infect me with the COVID. Alright, so let's move back a little. Swooshes, guns, saw blade. Just one final piece. Let's get that out really quick. for this all I need to do is just simply lift it up wonder yep yep there we go big one there we go oh I get it now it goes on the matrix oh how clever oh so when he's pulling it apart yeah yeah, okay, I get it now. Sorry for all of you that uh, had to listen to me be a fool and not know what this was for. Yeah, it took me a while. Anyway, that's everything inside the box right there. Let's give you guys a quick better look at it. Everything all lined up. Check the leadership. Pull apart lights. When he lights the darkest hour. E. got him all scored away. Let's just okay, what else is remaining. Alright. Warranty. And instructions. 
Nothing special. All right. So, we've got him. All good. Now, what we're going to do now is do some scale comparisons. So the first scale comparison we're going to do is Titan Returns Hot Rod. I think Titan's Return is... Actually, I don't know if you guys can see that really quick. Let me just... Quickly move that over. Yeah, see? I think Titan's Return might be a little bit shorter than the uh, Studio Series Hot Rod. But, yeah. There he is against hot, uh, Titan Return Hot Rod. So we're going to get Hot Rod from the last night or higher. Go check that video out too. It's like the most popular video on my channel. Now you can see why. This guy's pretty cool. But yeah, there he is. This big old yellow sploosh. And uh, there he is to do a series Hot Rod versus... Masterpiece Hot Rod. And uh, now we're going to do the uh, Transformers G1 Hot Rod. I'm not going to open them up for because I want to, you know, keep reserved. Or I might, if, you know, this gets popular enough, I see you guys asking for it, then, you know, I might do an unboxing of him. But yeah, there he is. It's kind of hard to do a scale comparison in the box once I do that. Yeah. There's not much to go on on him, so then we're going to do G1 Rodimus Prime with his, like, trailer thing. Oh, boy. Yeah. And just to make you, uh, just to make you fans feel uh, a little bit nostalgic and old, this thing's 35 years old. <laughs> this, this was my dad's when, I, when I, he was my age. So, and I'm like, yeah, 14. So, this is his. Whenever uh, he was my age. So, 35 years old. Yeah, it's kind of insane, right? I just uh, made you have flashbacks. But yeah, there he is. Remove his trailer quick. I don't know about you, but I think uh, G1's a little taller. Yeah, just a little bit. And we'll just pose him real quickly. Hmm, let's see. How do we want to pose him so that way you guys can see how cool this guy can look? I think. Oh, yes. They listen. His fingers move. Oh, thank goodness. I think this is to uh, hold the Matrix, but, but you know. All right. So, lift it up. Put it in front. Oh, dang. Hold on to it, man. I think. All right. Yep. Oh, hey, now. Hold on to it. Hey, hey, yo. Don't you want to become Rodimus Prime? Just kidding. That's not a want. That will happen. Whether you like it or not. Oh, dang. Alright. It's the best you guys are going to get for now. Because Hot Rod really does not want to, uh... One out. Yeah. Oh, wait. I forgot the most important part. Alright. This is careful. This is careful work. Oh, man. I don't want to break this guy. They're not even supposed to come out till April. Oh, man. All right. There you guys go. There he is holding the Matrix of Leadership pulling apart. And uh, just think. I'm going to use 35-year-old Rodimus Prime as a real quick example. There he is pulling it apart. There he is in about 10 minutes in his time. So, <laughs> well, 35 years ago, 10 minutes for him. So, yeah. 
there he is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Quick like, you know, give us a quick subscribe. Definitely help the channel. And, uh, yeah. Stay cool. More bacon. Also, real quick before we end, uh, we're going to start doing this uh, thing we call the Geek Wall. And uh, we're just going to have different boxes of the things we unbox on this channel. Like, we got Warpaths box all the way up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. But we have uh, Kingdom Warpath up there. Kingdom Cyclonus right there. Megatron. And uh, we got the Predator box. And uh, we got another Earthrise War for Cybertron Transformer right there. Decepticon, yeah, Fast Track. So, yeah. We're going to be adding on the boxes. And then once we get all of, uh, I think, Kingdoms. Yeah, Kingdoms that has the Fallen Ark. We're gonna make. We're gonna fold the flaps in and do a um, and do a little, you know, picture video on that, where we show you guys what all the flaps look like combined. But yeah, once again, give it a quick like, subscribe if you like the content we do here. Stay cool. More bacon.